Hi there, this is a video about optimizing for your website and getting more people to visit your website. So I'm guessing that you have a website for your practice and I'm also guessing that you want people to visit the website. And I'm also taking a guess that when they get to the website that you want them to actually do something. And I think you're absolutely right to have that belief. I think that's a really good thing to do. The problem I'm finding is that lots of dental practice websites, particularly the very new, modern, swanky, designed, minimalist kind of practices, want fancy, swanky, designed and minimalist websites. And I just want to give you an analogy of a book. So I've just finished reading this brilliant book by uh, Rob Walsh, which talks about um, how to uh, run a successful and profitable dental practice. So this book is, is brilliant, I suggest you read it. Now I'm just gonna use this uh, by way of an example. So let's just say that your website, um, you wanted your website designed uh, to be looking like a single page, to have perhaps a photograph of um, a patient or a, a lifestyle photograph or a photograph of the practice. And then on one single web page, you just want to have a title. Uh, this title would be the business of dentistry, but you may have the title of um, teeth whitening and you may put, um, we uh, look after your teeth and health to make a fantastic white teeth and then have a lifestyle photograph. Now that may absolutely fit with the branding of your practice to have it very minimal. However, People are searching the internet, they're looking for answers to problems, they're looking to solve their problems and to looking for ways to get information. And the question is, if you have a website that's designed or a page that's designed like that, where, where is the information? So where is the information for a person to read? Now, you as an individual may be a big picture thinker. You may think of the big picture and have an overall vision of what you can do as a dentist. And that's fine and that's good and you need to appeal to those people, but you also need to appeal to the people that want the fine detail. And if you have a web page that's designed just with a heading and a nice picture, there's no detail on there for those people. So you're missing out a whole load of people that are not gonna get anything from your website at all. However, that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is Google. Now, if you have a website like that, what is Google gonna read? Google can read a few bits of text and it can think, well, I know vaguely what the website is about. People are gonna to go to Google and they're gonna type um, into the search engines all sorts of phrases. And those phrases are gonna match all of this lovely content that you've got. So let's take, let's take Rob's brilliant book as an example. So let's take the contents page. So on the contents page, we've got things like scheduling team meetings, um, systemizing your practice, um, how to set a practice uh, mission and a vision. And all those sorts of things can be on a website and when people go to the internet and they type how to systemize a dental practice, Google can read all of the pages that it's indexed and it can go to the how to systemize a dental practice or how to build a team. And it can go directly to that page on your website and within that page you've got lots of, lo lots of lovely content so that the people that have visited the um, Google and type those search queries in land on your web page and there's lots of content for them. So Google can find a website which has lots of content. Now, this is the real key. This is where it becomes really interesting. What you need to have your website ranking high is some good content and you need to have the titles in the right place and that's what we do as optimizing. But you also need to have links. You need to have natural links back to your website. You need to have people visiting your website and going around to their friends and saying, visit this website because it's got some stuff about team building. Visit this website because it's got some information about how to keep your teeth for life. Visit this website because it tells you everything you need to know about the sequence that your teeth, by children's teeth develop in. Visit this website because it tells you everything you need to know about dental implants. People are not going to talk about your website. They're not going to post links to your website from all around the internet if all the website has is a title and a nice lifestyle photograph. People are not going to link to it. So it's absolutely vital that you have content on your website. Now there are some clever ways that we can do that to keep this minimalist branding. You can have a minimalist looking page and at the bottom you have a little read more button. When they click the read more button, the page expands and the page expands to show lots of great content. But believe me, 
without content, A, you won't get the conversions. People are not going to be reading it thinking, yes, um, I can see that this is a person to trust. This is a person that knows what they're doing. This is a person that's got lots of testimonials. This is a person that's got lots of before and after photographs. And secondly, you're not going to get people to the website anyway because Google is not going to be able to send anyone to a website that has no content on it. So content is absolutely king. And I'd love to hear your comments below this video on some of the ways that you have found to get a good mix between the two. What have you done to have your perfectly branded website that looks nice and minimal? And what have you done to have lots of content so that Google can find it, people can read it and get the information they want, and people can link to it to say, go and read this content. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and thanks for watching. Speak to you again soon. Bye.